Hello, everyone. Thank you for connecting on time, people. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Yes, I'm great, teacher. You're great. And you? Fine. Yeah, I can't complain. <laughs> I don't be sleepy, but I'm good. It is raining, so I'm a little cold. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it was it was very cold. I had to change my clothes because the the t shirt I was wearing was like I don't know, not warm. <laughs> so I had to change my clothes. Well, guys, thank you for, as I said, connecting to your class number 14. Today we're going to study, we're going to continue studying the present progressive, but you will learn more vocabulary, more verbs. Okay, okay, I think I made a mistake. Okay, okay. <clears throat> in a moment you will see the class presentation that I prepared for you. So as you can see, it's word power or vocabulary. He's playing tennis. Today is Thursday, July 13, 2023. And by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different activities. So that's what you are going to learn today. Activities. How to express activities that we do every day, right? Actions. So yesterday we studied the WH questions. Remember? WH questions. For example, uh, we were uh, reading, what's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. so he's getting up. So if I ask you, who's sleeping now? Who is sleeping now? Who's Victoria sleeping? is sleeping now. Exactly. Who is having breakfast? Sue and Tom. Very nice. What's Celia wearing? Celia wearing a red suit. Uh -huh. See, Celia is, don't forget, is. Uh -huh. Celia is wearing a red suit. Excellent. Where's Andre working? Andre is working in Moscow. In Moscow, maybe in an office, right? And why are James and Anne having lunch? Why are James and Annie having lunch? Because it's noon. Because it's noon, it's time for lunch, right? Okay, where's Hiroshi watching television? Hiroshi is watching television in Tokyo. Okay, he's watching television at his home in Tokyo. And who is having dinner? Who is having dinner? He's eating dinner right now. Uh -huh. What's his name? Bermas. 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 It's a difficult name, right? <laughs> it's a strange and difficult name to pronounce. Okay, good. So over here, guys, you can see different activities. I'm going to go one by one so you can learn the pronunciation. Okay, so please pay attention. You can repeat after me if you want. Clean the apartment or clean the house? Clean the apartment or clean the house? Sweep the floor? Sweep the floor. Uh -huh. Do you sweep the floor? Do you? Do you do it? Lo hace? Usted? Do you sweep your floor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every day, right? 
Okay, number three, uh, dust. Dust. Number four, vacuum. Vacuum. Five, wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Six, do the laundry. Do the laundry. Seven, iron. Iron. Eight, fifth, the baby. Fit the baby. Fit the baby. Mm -hmm. Dar de comer al bebé. Fit the baby. And nine, fit the cat. Fit the cat. Yeah, or the dog, right? And number 10, walk the dog. Walk the dog. 11, watch TV. Watch TV. Watch. 12, listen to the radio. Listen to the radio. 13, listen to music. Listen, listen to, to music. music. 14, read. Read. Uh, 15, play. Play. 16, play basketball. Play, play basketball. basketball. 17, play the guitar. Play the play guitar. The 18, practice the piano. Practice, practice the, piano. the piano. 19, study. 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 And 20, exercise. Exercise. Okay, very good. Do you have new vocabulary here? Yes. For example? Vacuum. Dust. Dust. Okay, vacuum. Feel the baby. Feel the baby. Good. Okay, guys. Right now, you are going to make a sentence. Choose five actions. Choose five activities. Van a escoger cinco. Five actions or five activities. You are going to make sentences in the present continuous. Okay? In the present continuous. Van a ser cinco oraciones en el presente continuous. Five chat. Yes, you can do it in the chat. For example, you can use the new words, right? Traten de usar las palabras nuevas para que sí. Las vayan internalizando. You can say, for example, my brother is walking his dog in the park right now. Okay? Another okay. one would be uh, the girls are playing, uh, are playing outside. Están jugando afuera. Okay? So let's write the sentences. Let's write in the present continuous. They can be affirmative or negative. You can choose. My, my reading is so less reading. Excuse me. Okay, my grandmother <laughs> is going for the back. I am feeling okay. Glenda Karina no sabía el is, solo I'm feeding the baby. I'm feeding my baby. Okay, give me a moment, guys. I need to go. Yes. Uh -huh. Continue making the, the examples.
Okay, guys, remember the structure for the present progressive. Subject plus the verb, the verb to be. Subject plus verb to be is am um, or are, and then the verb in ing form and the complement. Veo unas oraciones que están bien, pero no están, están en el presente simple, no en el presente progresivo. Por ejemplo, my sister is watch TV. Sería, my sister is watching TV. My sister is watching TV. And the others are correct. Oh, my brother and I are practicing the piano. Teacher, mm -hmm. iron is planchar. Yes. Thank you. And then we have others. My sister is spinning the dust. I am learning English. My brother is washing the car. My dog is eating the meat. She is listening to music. My mom is dusting. My sister is studying high school. Okay, very good. Okay, she is ironing the blue jeans. <laughs> okay, nice. I, um, Fernando, it has to be in the present. I am playing basketball today. My baby is watching TV. My dog is sleeping right now. My brother is buying pupusas. They are playing the guitar in the church. Very good, Cecilia. See another example, Anna is playing the guitar. I am doing the laundry, okay. That's correct. I'm listening to the radio. My daddy is playing the guitar, Angie. It's an action that is in the moment, happening in the moment. Algo que está pasando ahorita. Francisco, okay, my cousin is working in the USA. Okay, my son is practicing the piano, is correct? Uh -huh. Jacqueline, my father is listening. Listening to the radio. I'm washing my clothes in the, okay, in the, maybe washing machine, in the lavadora. My dog is playing with the ball. My father is listening to the radio.
um, I'm watching TV. My mother is cooking pizza. My friend is playing basketball. I'm shopping at the supermarket. My bro, my boyfriend is walking. The cat is eating. They are playing football. Very good. Thank you for your your examples. Thank you for practicing. Okay. My mother is sweeping the floor. No olviden el ing. Hay que poner el ing al verbo. Ana Marisela. My mother is sweeping the floor. I'm washing my clothes in the laundry. We are going to the beach. Okay, thank you for creating your sentences. I am drinking coffee, Hazel. I am drinking coffee. So very good job. Please don't forget, don't forget the structure. Subject, verb to be, the verb in the ing form. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, let's go over the next slide. In the next slide, we have more activities or actions that we do every day. For example, get up, have breakfast, go home, have lunch, sleep, or go to bed, have dinner, right? more vocabulary. This vocabulary we are going to practice uh, the time, the times that we do each activity. So in this moment, you are going to help me to match the question with the activity. Okay, so please help me match. For example, what time do you get up? What is the correct answer? What time do you get up? We have different options. I have breakfast at 6.30, she goes to school at 7.15, I play football in the afternoon, it's 9.40, he has lunch at 11 o'clock, I get up at six o'clock in the morning. She has dinner at seven o'clock and he goes home at five o'clock. I watch TV. <clears throat> what is the correct answer? Um, I get up, I get up at up six o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Okay. What time does she go to school? It's night. No. Well, it, what is the correct answer? She goes to school at 7.15. Option B. Yes. What do you do in the afternoon? I play football in the afternoon. Yes. What time does he go home? He go, goes home at five He goes home at five o'clock. Okay. What time is it? It's 9.40. What time does Ben have lunch? Uh, he has he lunch has at seven o'clock. No, what time does Rosie have dinner? She has dinner at seven o'clock. What time do you have breakfast? I have, I have breakfast, breakfast at six thirty. Thirty. <clears throat> what do you do in the evening? I watch, I watch TV in the evening. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Over here, guys, we can see more activities. 
for example, play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Okay, what I what do you what I want you to do? In this case, we have a, a review of affirmative sentence, negative sentence, yes, no questions, and WH question in the present continuous or present progressive. For example, he is playing in tennis. That is affirmative, negative. He's not playing in soccer. Question. Yes, no question. Is he playing tennis? Yes, he is. WH question. Who is he playing tennis with? And we have to answer the question. Um, he's playing tennis with... Mm -hmm. With his brother. Okay. He's playing tennis with his brother. So now, guys, you are going to choose three actions, three activities, and you are going to make the same. Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and WH question, okay? You are gonna do all of these. Affirmative, negative, and questions from the three actions or three activities. In the chat. Lo vamos a hacer en el cuaderno? In the notebook, okay. and you take a picture and you send it to the group. Y lo vamos a mandar al grupo, okay? Okay. We'll send it to the group. Mientras tanto, meanwhile, I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present or here. Today is Thursday, July 13th. Aleida Marilyn Gómez. Alvin de Jesús Uchilla. Present. Thank you, Alvin. Ana Maricela Vázquez. Present. Ana Silvia Joachín de Escobar. Present. Thank you, Ana. Angie Iber Romero. Present. Thank you, Angie. Cecilia Verónica Hernández. Present. Christopher Go Goches Paca. Christopher Alejandro. Present. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Claudia Elizabeth Lima Cosevayos. Dania Larisa Romero Díaz. David Ernesto Tolosa Calderón. Denise Rosalía Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you. Edward Steven Perez. Present. Emily Azucena Ramos. Emily Azucena. Emanuel Eliseo de León. Fernando Enrique López Alvarado. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Francisco Javier Cortés. Present. Thank you, Gabriela María Reyes. Glenda Karina Baños. Present. Hacel Beatriz Abarca. Present. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán. Present. Jennifer Ivonne Perez.
Jorge Arquímedes Beltrán. Jorge Ernesto Martínez. Presente. Y José Adalberto López. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rosales. Julio César Reyes. Present Miss. Julio Ernesto Echeverría. Present teacher. Julio Carla Elizabeth Navarro. Carla Elizabeth. Carla Lucía Rosa López. Ok, thank you so much. Okay, don't forget to send your practice, your examples in the WhatsApp chat. Teacher, no sé si me escuchó cuando dije present. No le escuchamos, pero ya le leí el mensaje. Thank you. Vamos a ver. in English? No estar in English. Is she in English? Yes, she is. Who is this? Who is she studying English with? Uh -huh, she's studying English with uh, more classmates. Uh -huh. And the last question, no necesariamente tiene que ser who. The WH question también puede ser what, where, when, why, or how. Okay, not only who. Vamos a ver, Cari. Anna is swimming, Anna is not swimming. Is Anna swimming? Yes, she is. Where is Anna swimming? Anna is swimming in the pools. They are dancing in the party. They aren't dancing. Are they dancing? When are they dancing? I'm studying, I'm not studying. Am I studying? What am I studying? I'm studying English. Okay, the baby. Ah, okay. Tiene que usar el presente, el, el presente progresivo con el verbo to be y el verbo en ing. The baby is playing with his car. She is not playing. O el mismo puede hacerlo negativo, luego pregunta.
Sí, el verbo go siempre, casi siempre va con el to. So he's going to the beach. He's not going to the beach. Is he going to the beach? Yes, he is. Who is he going to the beach with? ¿Y Ernesto? El go and, and to are married. El go y el to están casados. <laughs> They always go together. One question, guys. Uh, could you um could you finish all the platform, all the sections in the platform? Could you finish all the sections in the platform, guys? Me escuchan. Yes, I do, teacher. Hey, Fernanda. Yes, teacher. Good. Okay, I only had one, two, three, four, five, five people who sent the questions and the others. You have to make three, three different verbs, three different actions. Okay, we got another one. It says she's reading. Okay. Okay, guys, now we are going to study one important thing, which is the spelling of the verbs in the ING forms. Vaya, cuando el verbo se convierte en la forma gerundia o ING, hay algunas reglas que hay que cumplir con el verbo. Vamos a, vamos a estudiar eso ahorita. Okay, what is the general rule? The general rule is that in one, uh, the base form of the verb plus ing, right? We, when we have one syllable verb ending in consonant, vowel consonant, we double the last consonant. For example, run, tenemos sílaba, vocal y sílaba. Oh, perdón, consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonant, vowel, consonant, one syllable. We double the end. Doblamos o um, uh -huh. 
Escribimos otra N, run, running. The same with get, get, getting. The same with swim. Ahí vi yo algunos ejemplos con swim. How do you spell swimming? We have swim with M. And in the ING form would be S W I M M with double the last M. Swim, swimming. Ahora bien, en el caso de write, aunque es una sílaba, porque en inglés las, las palabras se dividen en sílabas de acuerdo a cómo se pronuncian. Entonces, write solo se pronuncia una sílaba. Aunque se escriba dos, pero se pronuncia una sílaba. Pero no termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, sino que tenemos vocal, consonante y vocal. En este caso, no se aplica esta regla. Porque no termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, sino al revés, ¿verdad? Co vocal, consonante y vocal. En este caso, entonces, es la forma ING de write sería writing. Quitamos la E y, y we add ING. Another rule is, otra regla es, define and silent E, we drop the E before add, adding or adding ing, for example, make. So we um, we drop the e, quitamos la e, the e, and we add ing, make, make. It. The same with dance, dancing. And when the base form ends in y, the y remains the same. Cuando termine en i, en Y, no vamos a hacer nada, solo vamos a agregar a ING. Like play, playing, study, studying, cry, crying, cry, flying. Okay? So now let's practice. We have here a lot of verbs that we are going to make them in the ING form. For example, what is the ING of drink? Drinking. Solo le agregamos el ING, drinking, come. Coming. 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 Le quitamos la E. Hit. Hitting. Hitting. Ajá. Pero ¿cuál va a ser aquí la regla que voy a aplicar? Double the letter T. Double T and add ING. Exactly. Hit. Hitting. A blow, blowing, blowing. A go, going, going, going. Ah, uh, we just add ing. Bake, baking, baking. baking. But we drop the letter e. We drop and the add e. ing. Exactly. Bake, bake. Clap. Clapping. Clapping. Double P. Double P, exactly. Double P. Right. Writing. Writing. ENG. Read. Reading. Hiking. 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 Cutting. Cutting. W. Cut, cutting. Cut, cutting. Okay, cutting. with double T. With double T. Double T. Draw. Drawing. Drawing. We just add ING. Okay, we have the other part. A question? Do you have a question, Fernanda? Yeah, how do you pronounce uh, writing or reading? Read. Read. This one? No. Uh, mm, write. Write. Writing or, or reading? Write writing. 
Okay, that's that's mm -hmm. that's good. Okay. Okay, swim. Swimming. Swimming. With double M. M. Yes, double M because swim is just one syllable there. Open. 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 Opening. Eat. Eating. Eating. Color. Coloring. Smell. Smelling. 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 See? Spirit. Double T. With double T, exact. Try. Trying. 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 Having. 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 Being. Being. Solo le agregamos el ING. Being. Seeing. 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 Vaya, en el caso de sí, solo le vamos a agregar el ING. Seeing. Okay. See. See. Seeing. Watch. Watching. Watching. Play. 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 Cry. 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 We are going to check if everything is correct. And yes, congratulations. You got a 10, guys. Very good. And now, mm -hmm. vamos a ver. Okay, guys, now we are going to read an article. We're going to have a reading exercise right now. Because I think that's important. Okay, um, I'm going to play the reading part for you guys. Okay, this doesn't have listening. Oh, yes, it has. But I think I'm not. Give me a moment. Page 35. Exercise 10. Reading. Message me. Eva and Pam are friends. They message on social media every day. Pam lives in Atlanta, in the United States. Eva is visiting friends in Puebla, Mexico. Hey, how are you today, Pam? Hi, Eva. I'm fine, thanks. What are you doing? I'm sitting on the couch watching a movie. It's great. Lucky you. I'm writing a report. It's for my job. Oh, really? Are you at your office? Yeah. My friend Letty is making me coffee. She's helping me with the report. Cool. I'm... Oh, wait. My cell phone is ringing. Be right back. Sorry. It's my friend Paul. He's making lunch. Right. I have to go, Eva. Sorry. My boss is calling me. Okay. Good luck with the report. 
Have a good evening. Thanks, Eva. Enjoy your movie. Very good. So in this conversation, this reading, as you can notice, uh, they are message or they are texting or messaging on social media. Pan is from Atlanta and Eva is visiting friends in Puebla, Mexico. And she asks, hey, how are you today, Pam? Hi, Eva, I'm fine, thanks. What are you doing? I'm sitting on the couch watching a movie. It's great. Lucky you, I'm writing a report. It's for my job. Oh, really? Are you at your office? Yeah, my friend is making me coffee. She's helping me with the report. Cool. Oh, wait, my cell phone is ringing. Be right back. Sorry, it's my friend Paul. He's making lunch. Right, how to go, Eva? Sorry, my boss is calling me. Good luck with the report. Have a good evening. If you notice in this conversation, they are talking about what is happening right now in the moment. Lo que está pasando en el momento. Entonces, eh, um, let's do the exercise. Who is doing these things? Choose the correct answers. Who is watching the movie? Pan or Eva? Who is watching the movie? Eva. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Eva. Okay. Who is visiting friends? Paul. Yes, Alex. Who is visiting friends right now? Uh -huh. Can you repeat, please? Eva. Eva. Who is working in an office? Paul. Who is making coffee? Paul. Lady. Mm -hmm. Lady. Yes. Who is calling Eva on her cell phone? Paul. Um, boss. Paul, the boss, right. And who is calling Pam? Pam, boss. Eva. Uh -huh. Pam's boss is called, oh, sorry. Pam. <laughs> okay, in this one, Paul is calling Eva on her cell phone. Number six, Pam's boss is calling. Okay, nice, nice for you. Good. So now, guys, this is going to be a homework for you. You are going to create a similar conversation to present it in the class. Esta misma conversación, una conversación similar. What are you doing? Ya le dice qué está haciendo. Y luego, ¿dónde está? Entonces, ustedes van a inventar una conversación parecida, solo que van a cambiar, obviamente, las acciones. But the conversation will be in the present continuous, present progressive. Lo que está pasando ahorita, lo que está haciendo la persona ahorita en el present, in the present. Okay, Entonces ya se las voy a enviar al WhatsApp y mientras tanto los voy a enviar a las alitas para que con su compañero o compañera se ponga de acuerdo para poder hacer la conversación. La presentaría en el día de mañana en clase.
Vaya, eh. Una consulta, teacher, este, eh, ¿la conversación va a ser entre los cuatro o, o, o son, o sea, si es similar a la que nos mandó, solo es entre dos personas, ¿verdad? Sí, fíjese que ahí se me fue que cuando hice las alitas, se me fue, se me hicieron grandes, me confundí. Vaya, pero eh, en es, a veces también les pongo además en las salitas porque algunos no, no están eh, activos, sino que están oyen, de oyentes. O algunos no pueden entrar a la salita. Entonces, en este caso, no sé quién está, Francisco, Julio, Jacqueline y usted, Cecilia. No sé si los cuatro están activos. Yo estoy en el trabajo, pero sí. estoy, pues sí, tomando nota en todo lo que puedo, entonces, no sé. Sí, yo, yo estoy? igual. Vale, entonces, yo sí estoy en la clase activa. Ah, vale. ¿Y Julio Ernesto? Eh, estoy en mi trabajo, pero igual estoy escuchando la clase. Vale, lo que pueden hacer entonces es ponerse de acuerdo. Eh, por ejemplo, Cecilia con Jacqueline, Francisco con Julio. Y... Hacen la conversación y se escriben, se la mandan por, por el teléfono y luego la practican. Eh, Le voy a dar tiempo mañana para que practiquen o, o para que la puedan presentar en la clase. Ok. Ok, estoy bien, teacher. Okay, gracias. Ok. Edward. Y digamos... Usted contestaría, hi, Karina, I'm good for fine fine things. Y what are you doing? Y yo le puedo contestar, I'm watching TV. No sé. Oh, okay. O uh, cooking. No sé. ¿Qué ponemos? Yeah. ¿Alguna actividad? ¿Alguna dígame alguna actividad que hace? ¿Cómo? Durante el, ¿Alguna actividad que hace durante el día? Los amigos, pero tú y yo nos conocemos, entonces eh, sí. nos, um, nos reencontramos pero, así sí, pero, como pero, casualidad, eh, nos encontramos y los presen se presentan entre ellos o los presentamos nosotros y es como que hay como una no, conversación, ¿no? Muy bien, me parece bien. Ah, por ejemplo, porque puedes decir, ¿y, a ti, ¿y tú qué haces? ¿A qué te dedicas? ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿O dónde estás trabajando? Entonces, sí, porque hay que recuerden, más material. Julio, recuerden que tiene que ser de cosas que están pasando en el momento exacto. Sí, 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 claro, utilizando el, el gerundio. El presente, ajá, el, el presente continuo. Sí, sí. Oh, ok, ok. I like the idea, you can ask. For example, where are you living? What are you working? What are you doing in this moment, right? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> or what, what are you going? Para donde vas? What are you going, right? Okay. Muy bien. Okay. Yeah. So uh -huh. you have the exactly. idea. Exactly. Por eso le decía. Excuse me, miss. No, no, it's okay. You have the idea. Okay. Yeah, sí, the... por eso les decía, chicos, de que sería como mejor que como que casualmente nos encontramos, eh, porque es como, como más abierto para hacer más preguntas, por ejemplo, ¿para dónde estás o qué estás haciendo en el momento? No sé. Lo que se me ocurre también es que cada quien nos hagamos preguntas. De, eh, uno le haga la pregunta al otro y así. Ah, sí, también. Perfecto. Yo pienso que no, porque si estamos así, digamos, que los cuatro nos vamos a hacer preguntas así, Primero yo, primero tú, después el otro y así. Nos vamos a confundir mejor. Digamos, eh, yo me encuentro a Fernando o a cualquiera de ustedes tres, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le pregunto cómo están. 
eh, qué andas haciendo, qué están haciendo, dónde vives, eh, para dónde vas, bla, 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 verdad. Bueno, de ahí puede ser que de repente llegue, lleguen dos, en el momento lleguen dos y comienzan a platicar con nosotros también. Y, Ajá, sí, claro. Me parece y cómo esa idea. estamos, porque si Excelente. comenzamos a, 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 sí, a, a preguntar todos, nos vamos a hacer bolas. Sí, nos podríamos sí. confundir. Okay. Sí, 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 sí. Tiene toda la razón, sí, tiene razón. Ok, guys, you have only 60 seconds to finish up your idea. Okay. Oh, okay. I think we are clear with the idea. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, I know you were in groups of four people or five people, but it's because sometimes uh, oh, some classmates are just listeners, right? But if you ha if you are in a big group, you can divide. You can have like uh, two with one conversation and two with another conversation, or you can make it as a group. But it's your decision. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you like some no. practice. But I would like. Eh, I would like you to send me a message. No sé si me pueden enviar ahí en el grupo un mensaje. ¿Quién va con quién? Por ejemplo, Edward me puede decir, eh, yo voy con Hazel. Julio puede decirme, yo voy con Fernando. Si uno me puede mandar un mensajito para luego yo hacer la sala mañana para que practiquen así con el compañero que le tocó. ¿Ok? Okay, teacher. Okay, clear like your chara. <laughs> Good. Teacher, yo tenía una, tenía una consulta. Sí, yes, eh, Es de que en nuestra sala, cuando se salió, habíamos cinco personas, entonces nosotros no, 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 no podíamos dejar a uno fuera, entonces decidimos que íbamos a hacer uno entre los cinco. No sé si habría problema. No, there's no problem. No problem. Okay. Just send me a message with the, all the members of the group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. What did you learn in this class? In this class, I learned about present continuous. Affirmative. Negative. And negative. Yes, no question. And that blue each question, right? What was your favorite activity? My favorite activity was planning how to do the homework for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the homework, <laughs> about creating the conversation. Okay, thank you people for connecting to the class. Remember to review the new vocabulary, to practice. And well, we still have the class tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night.